All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Shots Fired. I am Sergeant Silent. I'm going to be running Resistance Follow Man with you. And I have with me on couch a Grumpy TX or Grumpy Texan, I believe, it's, if I'm pronouncing it, that correctly. It's Grumpy TX. It's just TX. Yes. It's not, not Texas. Okay. <laughs> no. uh, how are you doing today, sir? Doing all right. Having a great one. Awesome. Glad to hear. Um, so if we're all good here, which I believe we are, yep. uh, we will just get started on this. Now, technically, time starts with a negative 17.7 timer, but I'm not going to make you do that. We'll just start when I, when I uh, count down. So three, two, one, go. And to start off with a little description of this game, I'm not going to talk about the story because that's not important. That's not what we're here for. Um, we're here for the run. This game is deceptively Indeed. hard. <laughs> that he's he's right. Um, I've had a habit of making games look way easier than they are in this marathon, and this game is probably gonna be the same. Um, that car in the right. You. Uh, oh, you yeah, actually. Indeed. Nice. Yeah, like. A lot of my movement here at the first uh, level is going to be rather particular to try to get, uh, you know, headshots are always important with any FPS game, uh, which so enemies are like in fixed positions, mm -hmm. but how they behave in those positions, what bullets they shoot, where those bullets go, that's all based on you mixed with an element of randomness. Yeah. So the annoying thing about this level is we don't have any kind of health regen to worry about. So what you see in the bottom left of the screen, that's my HP. That's what I have for this entire level. Yep. If for the first level and the first level only, no health regen, which is actually, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's interesting. It really does set the difficulty for the game. Uh, but second level and forward, we have health regen, but it only regenerates a quarter of your health rather than the full health which they implemented the developers implement in the second game going forward so right off the bat we're gonna go for a clip this is any percent which means we can do whatever we want and part of doing whatever we want is the game deciding not to let us do the thing we want <laughs> this is one of the um, this is one of the most inconsistent uh, clips in the entire game it, it, it either works or it doesn't and it can really all make right. or break a world record base but uh nope all right i'm gonna yeah. i'm just gonna walk around yeah it's it's cool when you get that because it saves like i don't know 17 seconds or something if you get it really really quickly yeah, you gotta but first uh, try and practice and right right before we went yeah. live but nope that's how inconsistent yeah. this game can be so the rest of this level is just pushing through with the HP I have. Grump, if you'd like to explain um, exactly what like the HUD means, what the weapons mean, and like what we picked up earlier, um, what that means for this game. So um, the weapon you start off with is the is called the M5A2 carbine, fully automatic rifle that's based on well, okay, getting into like some real stuff. It's based on the M14 platform. I love it. It's a really nice weapon. Uh, it's got a 40 millimeter grenade launcher on the underbarrel. It's kind of OP, not gonna lie, kind of OP. Pretty cool. um, got three rounds to work with. You got 50 rounds in the mag. That that thing's kind of a workhorse. Even though once you pick up the bullseye, which is the uh, second weapon you picked up there, um, which is the main weapon of the Chimera, which is the enemy in this game, uh, that thing will become your workhorse after like going forward later in the yep. game, it'll be more the workhorse because I have discovered that the bullseye definitely does more damage than the M5A2. Mm -hmm. uh, but the first weapon you picked up uh, when you walked in that building was called the Reapers. Those are, yeah, there they are right there on screen. Uh, those are dual wield weapons used by some other form of Chimera you'll see much later in the game because it's kind of interesting they put it this early on rather than later, but whatever. Um, the one of the abilities of that is of that weapon is you can lock onto enemies, and that thing will just melt through an enemy's health. It's it's kind of nuts. Uh, but if you're just yeah. firing one or the other, um, you will have to make sure. You're, oh, actually, it does lock onto one enemy. Okay, never mind. Don't listen to what I'm saying. 
I thought only locked on when you had both Today fingers held. we learned. <laughs> no, never mind. It locks on yeah, even if you only have one. Never mind. You find out new stuff every day. <laughs> it's a nice little homing weapon. Uh, it doesn't do as much damage as you would have liked. Yeah. But this game has a wonderful thing called melee. <laughs> and everything in this game is overtuned. Explosives on easy do 50% of your... Um, health, regardless of what your current health threshold is. Mm -hmm. um, uh, melee on easy is the same way. Melee is basically being hit by a point blank explosion with no AoE. So if I get meleeed, fifty percent of my health is just gone. Yeah. Um, now the cool thing is that guns like the Reaper, which are new game plus only. What you guys might notice the category is new game plus. That means there's five new weapons: one a grenade and then four guns. Yep. Um, Reaper melee is not adjusted for the fact that there are two guns. Yeah. Which is very powerful. Yeah, and the, the, the Reapers are legitimately OP. They are legit overpowered yeah. AF. <laughs> uh, Speaking of overpowered, we're in a tank. Yeah, the, the, the tanks are fun. Sabertooth, whatever they called it, I forget what the tank's called. Yep. This thing's a bit... It, it's a tank, that's for sure. Uh... Though in the later difficulties, oh, if you're not careful, you will die very quickly. Oh, yeah. The tank doesn't have anywhere near as much health as you'd think. Um, any kind of, like, big damage, like these mortar cannons you see me taking out here, um, on any difficulty higher than easy, for the most part, if you take a direct hit from a mortar cannon, that's up to 25% of your health gone in a single hit. You, you really need to be careful on... Um, things like superhuman like we were saying this is easy mode i will probably die on easy mode i've never completed a deathless speed run um though unfortunately i was really close once um easy mode will kill you there's a superhuman difficulty which is three difficulties above this um you need to grump you've done multiple completions of that casually how would you say superhuman compares to easy not fun <laughs> um, because to get superhuman, you have to complete a hard difficulty run. Because superhuman is not even unlocked by default, you have to complete a run on super on hard to unlock superhuman. Ah, oh, you didn't get the okay. Yeah. There you you got, you got the the crate. Yeah. Not really skip, more like a crate jump. Uh, I was just a little or a little low on momentum. Yeah. The stairs, the, the 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 way Insomniac handles collision in, in in these games is a little weird in their in-house engine known as the Insomniac engine. It's, it I don't know if it still handles collision the same way today, in like in the modern games. Uh, but no, I don't even think they use the Insomniac engine anymore. Uh, they they do, like in uh, Spider-Man, like the current Spider-Man games, they actually still use their in-house engine. But I think they completely redid the uh, the engine. It's. It's probably 4.0 or something by that point then, because this is on the 1.0, which I think Quest for Booty, a Ratchet and Clank game, and one other Rack yeah, game on the was, PlayStation 3 uses. Um, Tools of Destruction and Quest for Booty, I think, run on the Insomniac 1.0 engine. So three games run on the one, the Insomniac yeah. 1 engine. Um, now that doesn't mean anything transfers over. This is obviously a very different game, but... uh. You know, if you're ever interested in messing around with the engine, yeah, there's a chance that if it works in one of the games, it works in them all. Because Insomniac was pretty <laughs> consistent with the 1.0 engine, and then the 2.0 engine, and then the 3.0 engine, which I like to say are named after the Resistance games, but real talk, they probably aren't. Yeah, that's just the easiest way to remember them. Yeah, because I believe so. Out of the Insomniac games, Fall of Man, Ratchet and Clank: Tools of Destruction, and Quest for Booty all run on 1.0. Then I believe. R2 and oh, also right here, five discovery. If you aim a little higher, like upper chest, neck level, it pretty much gets rid of the enemies in rapid succession. Though, when you get enemies like that, that just you know, just walk through the, the turret like that, they, they, that can really mess up your time. I like this guy here. One time I had him circle, he got in front of the turret, realized he was being shot, and he actually circled all the way around behind me and meleeed me on the turret. And I was like, are you <laughs> kidding me, dude? <laughs> uh, um, thankfully, you don't have to worry about split times. Uh, Correct. 
We just have to worry about being on our estimate. Ha ha. <laughs> Get under an hour 35, <laughs> which yeah. is surprisingly difficult if you don't either A, have a modded PS3 and have your disc dumped to the hard drive or SSD if you have, if you did modify the storage yep. media or have the game purchased digitally on the European PlayStation Store because yep, they I have that particular release region locked for some reason. I don't understand why. I, I don't know. Japan and US never got digital releases of this game, but uh, if you guys are used to playing this on a disc, you might notice my loads are pretty insane compared to yours. Um, as Drum said, I am on a SSD in my PlayStation 3 running the... Uh, I specifically bought the UK version, but I believe almost every country in Europe has a digital release of it. I know for a fact UK, Sweden, and Turkey all have digital releases of mm -hmm. this game. So if you're located in any of those regions or know how to do PS3 um, accounts, you can simply go make an account in one of those regions and buy the game. If you're interested in, uh, you know, giving it a play, nice, we got the little drop. Yep. There's like a manip to try to get him to drop that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but we got a really good one yep. where he did. And and this is a good example of just what Reapers can do. Go on. Yeah, and, okay, good. You, you, you didn't get body blocks, okay. That section can be nope. kind of dumb, and you can get body blocks and, and stuck. It can really take yeah. a lot of time and a lot of health away from you. Uh, so the sometimes it doesn't even matter <clears throat> if you do that. Great, they'll just shoot you through the wall because bullseyes can do that. Yeah, for <laughs> some reason they can just shoot you through the wall there. I think that I think Insomniac forgot to add collision to a wall or two in that part, and then here comes like the first major about... skip, which this one can be a little. Yeah. Ah, okay, you got a first try. Good. Because that one could be a little... Yeah, consistent. I've noticed that if you if you start crouching for that, crouching seems to get you through that a lot nicer than just trying to put your face into it. So I've started doing that lately. And this spot, I've actually but, had a couple problems in this spot at one point where um, I think I tossed a grenade and it almost killed me. I think it was on like a practice run or something. I don't remember. This is a while ago. Um... And those hybrids are surprisingly tanky in easy mode. Uh, but in this level, yeah, like if good, sorry. If you're not getting headshots on hybrids, they're um, they're up a while. Oh, yeah. Like you, you really need the hybrids or the headshots. Um, which bullseye high power, low accuracy, mm -hmm. carbine high, medium accuracy because yeah. it spreads pretty hard yeah. uh medium accuracy but nowhere near yeah, as much the, damage as the bullseye the bullseye is just accuracy by volume <laughs> just <laughs> just dump like half the mag into an enemy and they're gone yeah or sometimes the like, bullseye good the bullseye does have a secondary to fix that accuracy problem but it's time loss to fire it in nine out of ten cases. So we just spray and keep running. It's yep. it's not worth taking the time to guarantee the kill because the, we need to be moving. Yeah. And later, like at the, in the very last chapter of the game, you get a sort of you know supercharged version of it. If you've ever played like Half Life Two, where you get the uh, uh, I think they call it like simply just like the supercharged gravity gun. I haven't fully played through uh, Half Life Two. Need to definitely. It's good game um you get a slightly more powerful version of it i don't know the exact numbers how much more powerful it is uh but does more damage and i do have chat pulled up so if you guys have any questions or whatever you can ask them and we'll try and answer them to the best of our ability we didn't get the door bug good thank <laughs> Please. Oh, and actually, right up here, if you... Oh, okay. Yeah, you can, like, run along the wall. Yeah, yes, yeah. Actually... I'm, I don't do it because muscle memory, but I'm, I, I've am uh, i expressed interest in potentially doing it. It's just muscle memory. I didn't do yeah, it. Yeah, so right in here, <clears throat> if you had done that little wall, uh, ran along that little ledge on the wall there, you can actually skip a trigger that spawns in, like, half these enemies. Yeah, and it makes I definitely will have to get into the muscle memory. Mm -hmm. Oh, because th okay. this this room is uh, this is like the first. This is really hard part of the run. It is super easy to die mm -hmm. in this room. Like no joke, you will just you you will just melt 
if you try running through that and slightly mess up, I'm I was gonna, gonna say, play it go safe rather than get risky. There you can yeah. jump around the wall there uh, and save like a couple seconds at most. Um, but if you have half health like that, it's better just to grab the health packs and go. To take yeah, the these turrets, if you like miss one or if the hybrids get an unlucky melee on you, like that's it. Yeah. This game, it it it's checkpoint based and some of the checkpoints are incredibly mean. Oh yeah. And this level there. So right at the very beginning of this level, there is a skip that you can do. It's on. It's probably the hardest skip to learn other than one in Manchester two, which is the next chapter. Yeah. Um, because you can very easily I'd fall into the void and lose a ton of, and lose a ton of time. So it's best. Yeah, I'm not good. Sorry. I, I was just saying, I'm not going to be going for it because um. I'm not practiced in it. Uh, shout outs to the world record holder right now. He he bopped me by implementing like all of these really dumb tricks. It's right here if you wanted to go for yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and it skips you to the other side of this fence here, which the end of the level is right over there. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, I ain't doing any of that. <laughs> I'm just gonna lose the like. I think it saves like 27 seconds. Yeah, but uh, grand, and just do the level. Yeah, in the, in the grand scheme of things, if you don't take that route and you do the newest skip that was found literally yesterday, it was published yesterday uh, by one of our glitch hunters. Uh, that's in one of the later levels. You could actually just skip that whole. Like you do the normal route through this level and just use that new skip and save uh, all that time. Yeah. Any level where you don't have to fire a shot, you could save all of your ammo, is a uh, good level. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes you just, you gotta do it. So everything you're seeing me do right now, I would have skipped all of this. I wouldn't have to do any of this, including the next skip you're about to see. And now all the other skips at this point have been clipping. This one is not clipping. You got a hybrid that decided to say this hello. This, but he died, but he didn't. There you go. This one, this one's not clipping related. You literally just do that. <laughs> it's just as easy as it looks. You just jump. But you can very easily slip and fall here, and you can ha you, you yeah. lose like however much. Uh, you've had a I lot of people say good luck off. Let me... so far. Aw, oh, thanks for the good luck, guys. I'm trying to spawn this because I have the time. There we go. So this is just a little out of bounds. You know, if you want to see what hybrids or manuals look like. Uh, or if you want the achievement for shooting all the hoses off of a hybrid, uh, easiest spot to do it right there. Those guys do not shoot you unless you have your back to them and are a certain distance away from them. So yeah, you know, just go check out actually decent quality hybrid models just stored off the screen. Huh. If anyone is interested in doing that, I've never knew but yeah, about that. that. Is the I just learned that. <laughs> <laughs> that is the easiest way to get the this game has skill points like you'd expect from most insomniac games of this era um hands down the easiest way in the entire game to shoot all four hoses off of a hybrid because normally hybrids are really obnoxious yeah i've i've but, i've considered doing a full 100 percent run which uh i i coined this idea like a couple months ago i think it was oh, and like this is my favorite this is really quick. This is my favorite mission. Uh, we get the best line. The American reinforcement is here. This is a massive fight. Giant level. Huge fight. It really sucks. We're not going to do any of it. Yeah, we're, we're not going to do continue, any of it. We're just going to go right through this window here. Which... Uh, okay. Absolutely you're, you're, no you're, respect for the British Army. You're, 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 you got the clip. <laughs> it, that though that one uh, run that you had, Dude, I don't I know how did. long ago, you got it instantly. I have no idea how I did it. I jump, spawn, and just, I mean, that was pretty yeah. insane. Now, if anybody wants to attempt, if you still have a PS3 and have a copy of this game, you can attempt the 100% run if you really want to, and the rules are as follows. Complete a new game run. Complete a new game plus run. Complete a superhuman run. Unlock all skill points and collect all intel. I've considered doing that. I uh, just have to pick a day and, and probably make a new profile on my ps3 so i don't have to delete my save um oh man you know you're gonna have to so this game 
has a really annoying feature where it like backs up to the SSD or HDD mm-hmm. how far you've played in the game. Which means that it tracks your cutscene progress. You cannot skip any cutscene you have not, or your HDD hasn't registered you as having seen. Yeah. Which means you'd actually be completing three playthroughs. You'd be completing one playthrough all the way up to the final boss, just so you could skip all of the cutscenes in said speed run. Yeah, there's like it's uh, it, it's it's annoying. It's so annoying. Yeah, I gotta love the days mm. with uh non-skippable cutscenes got you gotta love that era and now the end of this level is you just have to wait several seconds after killing yep. that last guy which is called the howler there are like yep 10 different types of it of chimera in this game it's uh so there's there's the hybrid like 12 but yeah there's the hybrid which you see the majority of that's the that's the most common then you have the menial which you got introduced to in the second chapter you have the leaper which you got introduced in the second level of the first chapter, which you are seeing on screen here. These 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 little. I want to try to keep this mostly family friendly. I don't know how much swearing is allowed on here. <laughs> uh, these guys are annoying, especially in groups. Um, they can really, they 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 are a hot knife through butter if they start if they swarm. You. I just got told I can swear all I want. <laughs> uh, let's go. Uh, let's go. But uh, I swore oh, like a sailor already. I am really trying to clean that up. So, yeah. Okay. So, R the other day mm-hmm. told me, don't be a coward. <laughs> just throw a grenade and run straight. <laughs> so I'm not going to fight these guys anymore. I'm just gonna go for it. Skip the uh, wait, did uh, you get the no you didn't get the auger. I guess do you, the wait, does the game give the auger to you later in the game? Don't know, we're about to find out. Um, this is gonna be a good day. Uh this is gonna be an Dude interesting day. Live. Okay, I'm probably gonna yeah, die. Yeah, I was gonna say that that uh thing almost killed you. You might wanna go ahead and this kill the, 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 the two steel no, no. Uh yeah, you're right. I'll I'll put, let me get this checkpoint. Yeah, I was first. gonna say just walk through the door and get the checkpoint. 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 There you go. Okay, I'm gonna go back and pick that uh, auger up because I don't actually know if the game will give me one if I do. This. We're finding out together because I haven't checked that either. I've always killed those two uh, um, uh, steel heads every time. No, in that left room, uh, you could have grabbed some. Executive decision. Oh, okay, you got I don't have enough that. HP. Fair I'm enough. not comfortable here. Fair enough. Now, okay. I Okay, question. If we were to do a deathless run, would the... Death in right, good, uh, Somerset Two. Would that be allowed? Because it's 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 part of the skip. Would that be the only death that's allowed in the run? Or would I mean, mean so death? typically in speed running, if someone says a deathless run, what they're referring to is no unintentional death. Yeah. Did my? I don't think my. Backlash got thrown. It did no, not. No, no. I was, was going to say, um, you didn't throw the backlash. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you, while I do this again, if you want to explain like what we can do, you mentioned it earlier. Yeah, so the, in that previous building he was in, there's another skip there that you just jumped into one of the windows because the, the, the Insomniac did not make sure to put collision on every single wall or whatever because the way the game handles collision is if there's one if there's two surfaces that are touching and creating a corner if one of them is not as long as the other you will start just gyrating rapidly and you'll clip through the wall you can do this with every wall in the game uh that's like that yeah um but in multiplayer they fixed a lot of bugs like that they fixed a lot of issues uh which he actually just walked by it, but it saves like what, 15, 30 seconds if you do it right? Oh, yeah, I'll show. It's uh, right on the other side of that wall there. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, it saves like like 24 if you get it immediately. Yeah. It's it's pretty significant. How- um, yeah, we're not supposed to be out here. Yeah. However, if you don't get it, you fall straight to the void because there's a massive hole 
uh, next to it. Yep. Though in this section, and uh, excuse me, excuse the first checkpoint in this stage is the one in that door frame I hit, mm-hmm. the one I almost died in front of. If you don't get that checkpoint, you have to refight that entire Leaper fight and the Steelhead fight and the Howler. You have to redo all of yeah. that stuff, which that can uh, that that's leaper. like a two minute time loss for a 20 second. Now, if you're wondering save. why the game is so bright, that's just the simple overuse of Bloom. This is in yeah, the- So Resistance, Good. Th- this is my favorite way to describe this game. Resistance 1, Fall of Man has three colors. Brown, gray, and bloom. You can see all of them on screen right now. <laughs> Though in the later so, uh, levels, they add like another color. And now those those mines right there, the hedgehog mines. Um, if you do get this jump first try and you have half health, you will die. Like almost guaranteed, you will die. Uh, now what he just did yeah. there, he, is, he stepped into a little archway, which has the end level trigger in it, which checks to make sure are all the enemies dead. Yes, and the level, uh, which none of the enemies respond in, so it's going to see that as all the enemies are dead. Which, after this dialogue plays, it just ends the level immediately. Yep. Which is a nice little thing. A lot of, a lot of levels in this are based on either you being at a specific location or you killing a specific enemy after hitting a specific location. This game is 90, 99% of the time, it's a trigger mm-hmm. that you need to hit to end a level. So if you can hit that trigger early, we can end the level early. And that's why so much of the stuff we're doing here works. Yep. And in the cathedral fight, uh, when you get first enter the cathedral with all the leapers, you have to kill like 90 something percent of them and then it will just kill all the rest. Like you have to kill, a, you have to take out a certain percentage of all the leapers that have spawned in <clears throat> before it'll advance the level instead of having to sit there and kill all of them which would just take that 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 would be just sig- plain and simple unfair this strategy i've never seen yep. before what you're doing now with the backlash mate i always just run around the entire map and then take out the stalker but yeah this is actually a new strat that tar came up with uh-huh. you can just go straight to the uh the middle of the arena and then just throw a backlash and jump, and that will grab all of the enemy's aggro. And you see, I just triggered the checkpoint there. So, like, hey, we we own this this field now. That just absolutely wow. That saved a lot of time. It's really nice. Tar, if you're watching, yeah. say hi in chat. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't have enemy as many forty mils as I would have liked. Yeah. Also, I've started doing this uh, bogey here from this side. Because I, I kind of like this side more. Mm-hmm. You have a lot more leniency to work with. Yeah, because on the other side, if you stand just a little too far forward, you you, you just get crushed by that. Now, to explain the backlash names, I haven't explained. Hi, Tar. You're right. He's in chat. Hi. Hi, Tar. Oh, I didn't even notice you said. I didn't realize that was you. He said good luck earlier. I'm so. I, oh, I feel <laughs> bad now. <laughs> It's okay. Um, I'm sure chat's moving so fast it's hard to read, right? Uh, Copium. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, to explain the backlash name, it's a very nice grenade. If you've ever played Halo Three and you've know and you know what the bubble, Ooh. I think it's called the bubble grenade, whatever it's called. It's a lot like that, except <clears throat> if an enemy steps in it, they take damage over time. It's not a lot of damage, but it's some damage. Now, the Stalker can very easily kill you. Okay, you managed to not get killed by the Stalker. Um, right. To explain the backlash nade real fast, if an enemy steps inside of it, they take damage over time. If an enemy shoots in it, because all the weapons, except for like the shotgun, are projectile-based, which means it fires a physical projectile in the game, um, uh, they will enter it and then turn around and return to sender. It's a very nice grenade to have. Especially in New Game Plus, yep. uh, and as superhuman. Unfortunately, unfortunately, because of what I attempted to do with the steel heads, I don't have any auger ammo, which is usually what you would use to absolutely destroy that boss. Yeah. Um. So we learned. Um. It, thankfully, he's not really that hard. All you need to know is I absolutely did not do that the fast way. I did that the very slow way. And the fast way is you have a bunch of stock 
stalker. That's not the right ammo type. <laughs> you have a lot of auger ammo. You launch like or send it like two or th typically it's two because three is a little too slow. Two auger shields because how the auger works is the more surfaces a auger shot passes through, the more damage it does. It like doubles the damage for every surface, which just it, it increases the damage to astronomical numbers. You could probably one shot yeah. every enemy in the game except for the Goliath, which is the one of the bosses later on in the game uh, with one shot. But you'd have to have a lot of surfaces for that shot to pass through. Unless they did put a hard-coded cap in, game, in, in, in the game, which I don't know if they did that or not. Now we're not All in. Right, so this, yeah. this is... You know, people, I don't know how much respect this level gets on Superhuman, but my god, this doesn't seem um, like a hard level. This level on Superhuman makes me hate this game. I don't think that hybrid was supposed to be floating. <laughs> now, you know what? They're aliens, man. Aliens have floating technology. <laughs> Just let it uh, okay. Someone. Uh, I apologize if I butcher your name. Uh, Cactu just said your face is freaking me out <laughs> which is your your yeah face sorry i uh i uh you know i got a little creative today wanted to pretend to be a hybrid and uh well you know accidents happen and here i am yep it's a pleasure to be here all uh welcome i'm from uh you know chicks love mexico that's a that's a deep cut Ugh. resistance 2 reference yeah we played resistance <laughs> 2 uh that that was a fun end level. Honestly, though, kind of a boring boss fight. If I'm gonna be honest. What do you mean, Godfist? You just foos through. No, that, that, and that, that's after the boss fight. That's where it's awesome. Oh, the right. actual you're boss right. fight itself is boring. <laughs> you have to hit him with lasers. You have first. to hit him with lasers. <laughs> it's so stupid. But I wouldn't be surprised if they had to do that. Uh they had to come up with that. Uh, instead of what I'm trying to say is the game was rushed <laughs> they had to get it out the door uh, but in, hence the name Insomniac they rush almost every game except for Spider-Man games because they have A more money and B more time to work on those games whereas these games they had to get them out by a deadline we're going to see our first use of the bullseye bomb here um, so it does exactly that. It it transfers 45 bullets and the bullseye tag onto what I, uh, excuse me onto whatever I fire it at mm -hmm. after I pre-store those shots. And we're gonna use it on this Titan because we want to take this Titan out as soon as possible. Yep. Like normally you would use any leftover auger ammo you have on him, but I don't have any yeah. auger ammo. So, so the bullseye uh, I grab um, a, does. It, it does you want to explain this too. as well? And now this is a skip that has been known about for a while, but I uh, recently, a couple months ago, found a more consistent way of grenade. doing it. That's the wrong grenade, sir. <laughs> You're right. That uh, is the wrong grenade, and I think it. I missed. You might have to die here. Uh, if it will trigger. You know what? I'm, I'm going to yellow it. You're just going to yellow it? Okay, that's a little bit of I'm time loss, though. <laughs> you know My generous estimate is... Generate. <laughs> it's fine now this little fence jump was i was just looking around for a faster way to get through that so it's really just something you can just do on like even a normal place if you really right. don't want to go through this section go. normally oh my god i was gonna say, you might want to just a big shot over there okay i got this yolo one shot absolutely not yeah Nowhere no near. i was gonna say i think you jumped a little too early uh man, don't mind silent he near. just stubbed his toe and a table's leg, his face is not usually like that. <laughs> that was said by Overkill Syndrome. That's that's a great comment. I will say that's another. That, I, I, All right. Uh, I I was lined up with the right one. Yeah, though, right. Yes, you're is lined that up one? with the right one. You want to go for mostly the middle. There you go. And then tip down. All right. Bit. It should work now. Yeah, it should work. There we go. Second try. Yeah, there you go. That that that's what's supposed to happen. Oh, that's last that's time I ran this game. Right there. <laughs> Panda <laughs> squared said that. Oh, that's the fall of man right there. That's funny. I love it. Um, last time I ran this game at uh, shots fired, 
that strat was not known yet. So again, big shout outs to Grump. Before that was just a Hail Mary. Yeah. Um, Tar in chat has come up with uh, two more methods to do that. However, one of them is incredibly, basically a YOLO like you already saw me do. And the other one requires two people to pull off. Yeah. Because this game does um, have co-op, so, except it's local only because this was 2006 and not everybody had broadband internet just yet. Not yeah, like today, where is, almost everyone has broadband. This is launch day, literal launch day, like November 11th, 2006, PlayStation 3 game. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a great title. Uh, it even has 4x3 support if you want to play like that. Yep. But, uh, you know, like any video game, it, it has its problems. Yep. Oh, dear. Now, I would say out of the two first-person shooters that launched on the PS3, that being this game and Call of Duty 3, this was, in my opinion, probably the the better game. By the Killzone didn't launch? That wasn't a launch title? No. Killzone 1 was a PS2 I, game, and Killzone 2 didn't I, launch Killzone until 2, 2009. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Killzone 2 launched pretty late. Now, sometimes there's a, a steelhead that spawns up there. Sometimes there isn't. Um, or up Oops. here, I should say. Um, and actually, so for that, that previous fight, once you get the Titan's health to a certain point, the elevator opens up, unleashing a squad of hybrids, which is very deadly. But if you're fast enough or, you know, good enough, you can actually just get through there without taking a single hit of damage. Yep. And then this and right there, you saw the sniper's secondary uh, ammo. I also did a small skip to prevent some enemies from spawning. Um, the sniper secondary is just a like a time slowdown. It's cool, but ultimately, as you can imagine, this is a speed run. Anything that slows down time has the word slow in it. Yeah. So we're only going to use that when it's really necessary or okay. Uh, okay. I just don't want to be meleeed. Yeah. Because uh, it's it's really not worth slowing down time. But steelheads do way more damage than you'd expect. So I'm going to use them. Now, there's a faster way. You can kill every Titan in the game with Reapers if you uh, literally have the balls to do it. Mm -hmm. um, but if a Reap uh, Reaper, if a uh, Titan decides to roar as his opening move, a Titan will always roar once when you're fighting them. There is no way to stop them from roaring once because of how their melee AI is coded. Two roars and easy, you die. One roar on Superhuman, you die. So... If you YOLO that Titan and then he just roars, you're like, well, now I have to back off and fight him in uh, ranged and anything he does will kill me. now. Yeah. His melee, his yeah. his bullet, they all do two hits of damage oh, yeah. on easy. Um, now, that spot he was sitting in just there gets the Titan locked in position because the AI, I guess, freaks out and doesn't know what to do. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think the pathing... Uh, AI or the, the 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 pathing for the AI wasn't smart enough to figure out how to get out of that spot. Um, and now here comes the the most one of the most infuriating skips of the game because you could lose like a couple minutes at most. Really, dude? Really? Really? <laughs> that reminds me of something. Nice little to me. visitor. The dude just doesn't die. Uh, Panda Squared uh, says, "Man, oh, the fifties were a while to." Oh yes, the fifties were definitely. The a 50s wild time. were wild. Yeah, do you guys remember when the Chimeran race invaded in the <laughs> 1950s? I can't see my view, my my lineup anymore, so I don't actually know how far into this wall I am. Mm -hmm. Because you, you uh, use a visual cue okay. to know how far you are. I just kind of guess. Yes. Because <laughs> so I haven't figured out that visual cue no, 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 to no, use. No. Oh, oh, no. Dang it. That means I was slightly mislined up it's fine uh i just gotta you can clip on either side of this fence but there's an invisible wall on the other side which makes uh clipping really obnoxious on the other side because the invisible wall will just basically completely body block you from getting through whereas on this side it's much slower to clip but you're guaranteed to get through nine times out of ten now you'll notice now we're out of bounds and go ahead sir. yeah go on so right here you know his you you're gonna say his it. frame rate plummets that is because the rest of the level is now rendered 
and the PS3 does not like that. But oh. the end of the level is right there. And as you saw, he didn't make the jump. Now, I will say something I've noticed with that with that skip is the where you'll know when you want to jump. When you see Hale, which is the main character, by the way, if you don't know this game and its characters, uh, you will notice you will drop very subtly, and that's when you want to jump. It's it. You might have to practice that off stream once we're done here, but if you get back into running this game on just like I don't know, like a semi regular basis or whatever, uh, but you'll notice he'll drop ever so slightly, and then that's where you just want to jump. Also, if you lose too much momentum here. Oh. I'm not certain what I'm doing. I swear, I practiced this game. I think I know what I did wrong that time, though. I think you lost too much momentum. But, uh, Tar says, geez, bad I luck. Think I, I think what I did was I scraped a, uh, there's a, like a, a piece of wall on the other side that you can't actually get through. And I think I've scraped that twice in a row now. Mm. Was, uh, there's another thing that can mess up your screw you over, which is losing forward momentum. Okay. Okay. I was serious about having a generous estimate. And, uh, you know, after how my last two runs went, I'm allowed to have Marathon Karma all built up into one <laughs> run that just devastates me. I... After Tar bothed me, I've kind of just been real meh about running this game, period. Yeah. So I apologize for a bit of a lackluster performance, but oh, we'll, there you we'll go. get you through it. the game. I, I promise y'all we will get through the game. Um, I did practice it. It's just sometimes unfortunate things happen, and that I'm saying that because that that time loss adds up. Oh, like, yeah. that's pretty significant. You saw how many times I had to clip through. Though I think you'll make that time but, back uh, in Thames One with that new. Skin. You're right. Actually, they will with the new brand new strat, as you said, literally less than I think less than twelve hours ago. Yeah. Um. Yeah new brand new tech was discovered in this game well tech uh a brand new trick was discovered in this game now right there with those two hybrids you can use the shotgun secondary fire which is a double blast because it is a double barrel shotgun uh and it sometimes can take out both hybrids at once but they have to be like really close uh because i believe the damage yeah. does have drop off on the, on that shotgun after a certain distance could be wrong um, this is the legendary barrel. Legendary barrel. Yep. If you hit that barrel, either two things will happen. You're guaranteed to blow it up regardless of what you hit it with uh, when it comes to the shotgun, or the barrel will be immune to damage and just casually fall off the cliff. Yep. Both of those are very fun. <laughs> Alright, so pa Panda Square said, A, first try. Exactly. Hey, hey first try. Uh, Thanks, Panda. <laughs> Cloud Kitty says, so true, that run was legendary. I think that was your last year's run, I believe. <laughs> yeah, hey, cat. Uh, and Overkill Syndrome says, I mean, shots are being fired a lot in this game, so I think we're good. <laughs> shots, yes. We, we're making up for the last two where we shot monkeys and key by literally shooting lots and lots of bullets mm -hmm. in this one. Now the next skip is coming up here. You can either- No, actually, I'm, uh, I don't do the skip anymore. Tar has shown me that uh, it's faster to just go through the tunnel. Really? So I've stopped, be I've stopped being a coward and I've just started going through the tunnel. Now, and you also get some air fuel grenades, which are the third, uh, uh, yes, third type of grenade in the normal playthrough, like in a new game playthrough. An air fuel yes. grenade, what it does, as the name suggests, is once it sticks to a surface, because it, it is a sticky nade, sort of, you can stick it to an enemy and it can take out a full group, is it will... I uh, was concerned about that grenade and hoping it would explode before you got there. No, no, it did. It did, it did well. It did um, well. It will put out a cloud of flammable gas, probably napalm. I really don't know. Um... And after a few seconds of it filling up in a small area with gas, it will then ignite it, and uh, it will it can take out full squads of enemies in a very short amount of time. Panda squared, hey, yeah. lots of bullets being fired as he uses shot shells. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as you're firing buckshot because yes, buckshot. Look, man, 
Buckshot is just big bullet. Yes, Buckshot is just big, <laughs> big lead <bullet>. ball. <laughs> big lead balls. <laughs> hey, I love that. That little menial there, you guys have might have noticed, he did like a nice little spin uh, in the moonlight coming out of there. I love his movement because he's coded really weirdly. So, uh, Tar came up with a new strat that I forgot to practice where you just YOLO this entire hallway. But based on the state of how this marathon has been going, I am going to just play this incredibly safe, take every enemy out, and then throw my first air fuel, mm -hmm. which is just going to kill any remaining enemies, except for, you know, the ones that are magically immune to being killed by the yeah. air fuel you literally just threw. And then once you walk down, like, halfway down these stairs, a swarm of leapers spawns in, which, if you're not careful, they will ruin your day. If you're not yep, careful, they can ruin your day. Also, first jump scare the game. No. Yeah. 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 No. First jump. Scare no, the game. that's the that's the first one. Um, there'll be like two more of those. So if that uh was a bit alarming in terms of photo epilepsy or something else, um, <clears throat> I suggest you look away. There'll be one more of those happening in this level. I mean, if you have for a little bit, if you have a bit of epi like if you if you suffer from epilepsy, why are you even watching this? <laughs> All jokes aside, this th there's a lot of games, especially this one, has a lot of very rapid flashing lights. If you have photo ep epilepsy, do what you need to do to, you know. Hmm. Yeah, I completely forgot that was even coming up, so I apologize for not saying anything earlier. I'm just so used to running this mm -hmm. game, and it, it's just a thing that happens. And here is a perfect demonstration of how overpowered the, the Reapers are. Yeah. So this this type of enemy, this is called a Greyjack. The basic lore of these guys is they're really, really old hybrids who can no longer use a gun. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why they can't use a gun, but they can't use a gun. Yeah. Um, and we're, I guess, supposed to keep this guy alive, though it doesn't really matter. He doesn't do absolutely a darn thing other than so, um, uh, the one thing he does next do flash is coming up is he does distract uh, all right the great we're good. they, they no will one. immediately go after him before they go after you i mean unless you're directly in front of the oh. gray jack in which case they oh that was a bad hedgehog it's fine it's fine it's fine the hedgehogs fine. are nice but they can really mess up your day if you're not careful yeah so I mentioned explosions are scary in this game. Hey, yay, 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 yay. I uh, gotta. You, you, there's a hybrid behind you. Yeah. Uh, Unless he's dead my, at that point. What's he gonna he, do? I, I don't know. I don't have any audio <laughs> for the game. I don't know if the stream does either. He's somewhere. He's somewhere. He's somewhere. <laughs> and in this level, the, the, this one kind of makes me a little mad because you'll have that one hybrid okay. who is all the way across the room, and you're wondering why the level isn't ending. John, yeah. Resistance Fall of Man has a mean right hook. Says a panda squared. John, John Resistance. <laughs> <laughs> My name is John Halo Resistance Kill Zone Modern Warfare. <laughs> it's my full title. Uh, and now you have Somerset, which I did find. Yes. Either it was me or someone else. I, I'm, I'm like, I don't know if I was the first to find this. So in part of this level, which is actually just uh, across the way. Here, one sec, Grim. One sec. Uh, I want to point out this doorway is extremely well set into the wall. You know, that's totally just, you know, there. Uh, anyway, please continue. So that, that I, I barrier across that the way, those metal barricades, you can actually just straight up run into one and just jump over it and get out of bounds. Super, super easy. It does give you a bit of a super jump, which is nice. Uh, because it, it's just simply going up a slope, and um, that secondary fire is just going into the sky. Uh, rip. It, it, no, no, it's going down, I promise you. Yeah. It's doing something. It's useful. doing something useful in, like, the next chapter. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's going somewhere. Door leaks like a... Door leaks like a sieve in winter, says Pensquare. I, I had to reread that. I'm like, wait, what? But I, I think that's a, I think that's a deep cut. Uh, I'm a bit uh, 
I've been focused on not dying. This yeah. fight is actually kind of scary. This arena fight's a little scary because you can very, very easily die here. And here's the Slip Skulls, which are the users of the Reaper. Uh, they are introduced in the previous chapter, but we skipped the section where they're at. How did you not take any damage from that? I apologize to everyone's ears. That just scared me so much. I'm not sure oh if your scream God. came through on, on the stream. If you screamed there. <laughs> I think you're, I think Discord said no and didn't allow that through. <laughs> oh my God. Um, yeah, so I was saying that earlier. Hedgehogs are the scariest thing in the game because what hedgehogs do is they function like a normal explosive in nine out of 10 cases. But the thing is, every single quill a hedgehog fires has been individually coded to be the most lethal thing in the game. Yep. And here, a single, and here comes, single hedgehog quill to the head, you're dead. Oh yeah. And here comes the next skip that you can do in a no major skips run, which that is literally, if you clip out of bounds, can't do it. But this one, you are remaining yep. in the play space, so you can do it, which is simply just drive up here yep. Yeet the Jeep over there with Cartwright in it and then just jump around the fence. I think that was probably one of the very first yep. skips that was found because it's super easy to do. It's incredibly easy. And now we're going to hit a checkpoint, which does not require the Jeep and throw a hedgehog. This is the only intended death in the run. Uh, we want it because for some reason that checkpoint just assumes, oh, you beat in the two towers you skipped. Congrats, and respawns you with the Jeep. Now, this next section has a bunch of leapers in it. This little happy turn right here. On Superhuman, if you just drive through there just like that, oh, you're more than likely guaranteed to die. Yeah, they do silly damage when it hits you. Oh, yeah. And then, yes, it makes the most... When you run over an enemy, it makes the most satisfying splat. <laughs> Oh. Unfortunately, it slows you down, but you know. Oh, I didn't hit him. This is fine, though. This is fine. Ah, nice. First try. Now, let's see if you can get get, get this clip without getting murked by the steelhead. Well, they have to let me in first. <laughs> this is probably the most infuriating no, skip of the entire run, I would say, because it's a little temperamental. You can do it, but you there have to go. do it in a very particular way to get a bit of a super jump so you can scale this rock wall. Oh, come on. Let me in, dang it. There we go, we started getting in. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we need to get like, the game has to start to let us get this little, what we call a proxy with the, the geometry. And then once we start getting that, then we can, we have to do like, it's hard to explain it other than, imagine you like, half moon your analog stick from south to north on the left side you're basically jumping into the proxy mm -hmm. it is proxying you up and then you are sliding up the proxy and over an invisible wall it's it's that's what it feels like it's kind of hard to explain otherwise but it's a bit obnoxious to try to get and that then one. so i'm glad we got it relatively quick then the end level trigger there it's simply just behind that fence. You hit it, boom. And that's that. That skipped like two, three more towers that you're intended to do. No, we didn't do any of that. Yep. And here comes. Um, the, speaking of not doing things. the infamous <laughs> fence skip, because this one can take people a while to 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 master. I figured out a method of doing it. I need to make a video on it on how I do it and actually have like a controller overlay on screen. I might have to do that on RPCS3 just because I don't know how to show my controller inputs when I'm playing on original hardware. Um, I'm on. I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it with like a modded PS3 and all that. And a, oh my God. And like a web server or whatever. There's, there's ways to doing it. Uh, but this one, this fence skip can be very infuriating. I typically sit on the left side of the switch, but you can kind of, it, it really just w whatever it's you enough. find works best for you. It on the left side? I'll have to try yeah, it. Yeah, that's my left it side. Easier. I found it, I anyway, it we to be a bit it. more consistent on the, on the left side than the right. Like, yeah, you get it. You do have a little bit more room to to like build up some speed because you have a little bit more room to walk. 
Uh, but nevertheless, you skip. You did the skip, which literally skips the entire yeah. level. Might I add, because right, we're about to be at the end. But you have to hit that checkpoint, otherwise, the rest of this level does not load properly. Yeah. So um, there's a that that checkpoint we hit there is actually the end level trigger, which means that if you are running this game co-op. Um, the start of this level is the, also the end of this level. Shout out to Insomniac for keeping that cliche. In co-op, you literally just turn player two around and leave. <laughs> There's no reason to do anything else in this level. They left the gate open? No, that trigger is what opens that gate. That's oh, how you, you finish the level. you just player two there. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Player two just walks. They just finish the level. Um, that skip was actually found. That's the the most recent like huge skip um that was found i think last year by me i was just randomly exploring out of bounds and it was like oh there's a checkpoint here how much does this skip oh you could finish the level <laughs> okay um anyway and then earlier devil at the door if you'd like to explain earlier this. uh hutch t said it did not referring to your scream so ears safe uh ears self. safe Yes, ears safe. It the, your scream did not come through. Thankfully, Discord. Let's go. Thankfully, Discord said no. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, Panda Square said hog yourself, and then fourth first try, and this skip. Oh, I hate this skip so much because it's this, RNG. That is literal RNG. Yeah. There's just absolutely nothing I can do about that. That was pure RNG. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna proxy off of the stalker. Uh, so what we're trying to do here is jump on top of the stalker, tr walk backward because you don't get. Oh, oh, didn't. You didn't get pushed by the jeep. What you're trying to do is walk oh, over. Okay. Um, interesting. It's you didn't fine. get killed by the stalker feet. Um, it's fine. This is fine. Because what you're doing is you're jumping over, you're passing over an invisible wall that the stalkers can pass through. Um. Which they just end up blowing up when they get over there. I think that's just how they despawn them. Is they just blow there them up? Go. Oh no! It just it simply just went and just despawned. The first the first one did blow up. That one lasted a while. Yeah, that one just gone. It just popped out of existence. But uh, yeah. So this is the level down there. We are we could go in bounds right here for the very end, but we have more than enough health to just finish this level. Mm -hmm. Um, the way we want to because we're we're gonna skip literally every trigger everything in this level it's all being yep. skipped j93 says let's go sarge you got this yes yes he does uh, and Yo, thanks, says Jay. totally intended now totally intended now for this hey next, books they let you jump on the stalker yeah. now this next skip i like to try to jump down to the little divot in the middle there if you see what i'm talking about you walk a little farther because you will take no damage from that fall. But if you want to do a little bit faster, like he just did it there, you will take about a bar and a half of, of damage, which is fine. But if you don't mm -hmm. do it, if you don't go to the right far enough, you will just die instantly because of how this game cal uh, calculates fall damage. Yep. Speaking of calculates fall damage, this is a new thing that um, Tar helped explain because it was not really well known how this works. Apparently, when falling, if you use a gun with a at least a significant knockback like the shotgun, right before you hit the ground, you will take basically no damage. What the? He's gonna miss. All right, this is the first time yep. I'm, I'm going to intentionally swear. What in the actual fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yep, that was discovered by Tar. That's how that works. If you fire the shotgun just before you hit the ground, you the shotgun kickback basically negates all <laughs> fall damage or like twenty, like seventy five percent of the fall damage. It's crazy. Uh, so that that trick is now consistent. Now. Yeah, and now here comes one of the more uh, sl somewhat inconsistent skips because if you don't jump First at the right time. time, you won't clip all the way through the wall because of how. Insomniac designed the game, uh, which you can fix that. I will need to make a video on that. There's a lot of videos I need to make on this game to explain certain skips. Uh, and 
Hey, someone has to do it. I'd appreciate it. Yeah, I, I need to, but I've been, I've been caught up in Destiny 2 recently. There's just been a lot of new stuff. Um, and now the first stalker level, which if you fire those rockets too early, they just blow up in the ceiling. I like to take this hey. a little slow and just fire the turret uh, at the motor launchers. Personally, I fire the turret. I don't typically try to fire the rockets at it. They're just more consistent with the turret. Uh, but... I just hold both buttons down, yeah. <laughs> whatever hits hit. <laughs> Though the Titans uh, are extremely weak to explosives. Like, especially with the Larks, which is the rocket launcher, which you get later in the game. The Larks secondary there fire. They are... One rocket can take out both a Stalker. If you get in the right spot, you can take out both a Stalker and a Titan. Well, you say if you get in the right spot, but... Not a lot of people know how to use the Lark secondary fire. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, because you don't need right spots with that bad the boy. The Lark secondary fire is very, very. It takes practice. I will say that because the rockets are very fast. They move very, very quickly. It's almost immediately after firing a rocket, you have to hold down L1, which will stop the rocket in its spot it'll hold it in position you can reposition it to wherever you're looking and then let go and it'll send that and it'll redirect the rocket in that direction or while holding l1 you can then hold r1 and it will send out a cluster of smaller rockets which do a, an astronomical amount of damage which you can also also one shot a uh angel which is another big baddie which you see in the last chapter um Speaking of one-shotting things, I picked this weapon up. Um, that was the whole reason I went down there. Mm -hmm. This is the... Uh, not last, but this is another New Game Plus weapon, like the Reaper and the Backlash, and another one we actually skipped entirely earlier in Cheshire. Or uh, uh, One day I'll pronounce uh, Cheshire correctly. Cheshire, is um, that how they say it? I believe it's pronounced Cheshire, yeah. Uh, anyone from England, feel free to correct me on that. Um, don't worry, I say Tim's right. Yes, Tim. Uh, I will now properly refer to it as the Thames and the Thames for the rest of the run. You're welcome, all of you English Tim's folk. Um, <laughs> um, this is the dragon. It's insanely powerful. Like, any anything will just die. Panda Squared said hitting them with the Vape Nation. <laughs> Uh, um, now this section uh, I particularly use the shotgun uh, because it, it one shots most enemies but you can use the flamethrower because you do get ammo right after this section you do get a, a canister of ammo uh, which the ammo for yeah. this weapon is very scarce unfortunately so this is going to be like one of the only other times where you're going to see Sarge use it unless he decides to use it again later which there's only one uh, other uh, to be honest good I, I pretty much just used the dragon for the whole rest of the game. I've, I've stopped using the shotgun entirely. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I... I it, it really... It, it comes down to ammo management. Like, you have to know how to use this gun's ammo because you need a minimal amount of ammo. I'll, I'll go show the ammo off just to make sure. But, like, you need a minimum amount of ammo to beat this game. Mm -hmm. uh, or you are not going to have a fun time yeah and we'll i'll in this category yeah we'll, we'll, we'll explain how the the bot the quote-unquote boss fight you're just destroying a nuclear reactor is pretty much what you're doing um or you're disrupting a nuclear reactor is really what you're doing um they call it a, we call it a boss fight but it's really whatever we're getting into semantics um <laughs> uh but we'll ex we'll get to it later it's really weird how they calculate or how it's handled. I honestly think Insomniac forgot to put collision on it. We'll get to it. Get they, you know, they dropped the ball and we're thankful for yeah. it. Yeah. Thankfully, nobody just, just remembered back that then when they were actually updating the game. And why? What? I, I'm I, not going to deal with that. I'm going to just let him bark. I think it was like three years ago when I discovered that. And I was before that, this game was completed with the shotgun. We never even picked this gun up. And three years ago, the record was like 159, and now it's like 124. Yeah. So that should just give you an idea of how significant routing this weapon into the run ended up being. 
Ooh, nice. There's probably nice somebody good. walking across the street that my one of my dogs is just going nuts about. It's all good. It's not that bad. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Just let me know, and uh, I can take. It. Yep. <clears throat> um. Uh. So yeah, we're basically. To, we weren't gonna talk about the story, but I do want to make an emphasis. We were in Bristol. Yes. If anyone from England would like to do this map, we were in Bristol. We entered the Chimeran Tunnels on foot. On foot, mind you, on foot. And the, condo, on the, foot. the tunnels connect Bristol to uh, through Bracknell all the way uh, to... Um, oh, God, I'm stuck in a wall. Bristol through Bracknell all the way to London. Again, on foot. On I foot. just really want to emphasize it. On foot. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> enjoy realizing what that means. Uh, I'm about to get meleeed. Uh, there's no way to avoid it. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. You, 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 My you melee to came out it. first. You managed get to avoid you. it. Now burn everything. Burn everything. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm playing this safe and getting rid of these guys. And Panda this Square. Dying. Good. Dying here sucks. Panda Square just said, John, John Resistance, fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> <laughs> defense <laughs> I apologize if I'm butcher your name defense defensor your I, I apologize <laughs> it's okay Said, several, several hundred mile walk no problem very legit <laughs> crossfaders call it Monday hey. <laughs> yeah. In this right, action, so I typically use the sapper, which is one of the other weapons that you. I think it forcefully gives it yeah. to you at the beginning of the previous chapter or level. Okay, I'm about to go deal with it. It does, yeah. I will be right back. That's okay. All good. It does give you the sapper, yeah, but you have to actually go pick some ammo up for it. Um, so what we need to do is specifically kill enough of these menials in order to um get the game to spawn the next uh basically activate these elevators for us so once the elevators come down we can put that sapper down and take uh take those enemies out and now oh that was the luck by the way now what we have to do is get to what i uh call the steelhead walk of death or steelhead run of death we need to utilize pretty much every tool we have at our disposal uh, preferably the quickest way possible to take out all of these leapers while simultaneously taking out all of these steelheads because the steelheads have arguably superior range to us and on top of the fact that they have superior range they spawn really early we have to deal with these leapers at the same time and uh they just they hurt like if you just ignore them and let their damage rack up they will do a lot of damage to you thankfully while we didn't get through it the fastest way possible we did get through it quite comfortably the so one last uh leaper in that pack then we have one more pack here oh that's all cool. right i am back sorry about that welcome back and now we're going to do one more strat that Tar implemented. Just a couple seconds time save. This is the only quote-unquote stealth section of the game. As long as you don't alert the enemies here, you're fine. So we're going to kill that guy, open the door, which is going to alert everyone. And now we're going to get our first showcase of just what the Lark can do. That is the Lark secondary. I'm going to keep walking before the Greyjack kills you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the Lark secondary ammo. Um... It just absolutely decimates anything. I also didn't realize you have to walk into the room to hit the end level trigger. Yeah, you have to so, walk into the room know, to hit the end cool. level trigger. It's kind of dumb. You'd think it'd just be killing the stalker would end the level, but no, you have to walk into the room to end the level. Uh, and now... But yeah, that just... Good. Absolutely finished. And now we are It just destroyed uh, that level. London. In a mall. Yep, yeah, we made it to London. In a mall. Let's just randomly showed up in a mall. I, I don't know I, I how we got I guess we just wandered here. through the streets and just... There, we came through there. Yep. Uh, now you can proxy right, off of a, a new type of enemy called the Roller, which is just a, an evolved form of the Leaper. They roll around, hence the name. It's kind of self-explanatory. Yep. Um, they also spit acid, yeah, but yeah, they're they not called spit the acid, acid spitters. Uh, something I like to do there just to make things easier. It's kind of a... 
more of like a sanity saver is I sit in that section where you just did the chair skip or the chair jump. I go, I walk into the middle of that, okay, this is throw bad. a backlash in at my feet, and then I just let, I just stand there for a few seconds, let enemies kill, basically just kill themselves, uh, because it it it's more of just a sanity saver because this section is very not fun um, on higher difficulties. Yeah, this is I my HP is really really bad, so I need to play a little safe and make sure I grab safety XP. Like uh, this mean little XP that just has an enemy chilling in front of it. Yep, you grab the health and then it just takes it from you. There's not. All right, uh, I'm gonna get the checkpoint and then executive decision again. Um, I have the checkpoint, so I'm just gonna kill myself there, which is gonna get more HP than I had because this last little run met I have enemies just shooting at me the entire time yeah. and i do i didn't grab the checkpoint <gasps> oh no i grabbed the gun but didn't grab the checkpoint i think you might have to walk a little <laughs> bit further to get the checkpoint i think the actual <laughs> checkpoint triggers a little further than that actual disaster oh no actual disaster but hey it's fine you know what we oh god oh no we just get to show it to get out of here yeah. we just get to show doing it again like you can tell, like I'm, I'm not really that scared of those enemies. Uh, you're supposed to throw a uh, backlash here. Like where you throw your backlashes is actually really, really important to doing strats well. I have one way of doing this. I'm trying to do Tar's way of doing this, which is just slightly different personal preference because I, I like his more. But his is definitely harder. Um, yeah. You know, pros and cons. Pros and cons. Um. Uh, so, after that little mishap, Tar went ha ha ha. Mishap? He, uh, intentional. Purely intentional. And, uh, was no outplayed. Tar just said that happened to me in Superhuman, what you what just happened to you. Uh, <laughs> no. Run, Sarge, run. <laughs> I'm running, I'm running. And you have this oh, God, my run, which, oh, uh, will you make it, will you? It's oh, fine, April. it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, it's you're, fine. You're good. You managed. I'm. I'm. I'm here. I'm safe. And there's health everyone. In calm down. Know that. There is health in we, here. We've made it. We're fine. So this section can also murk you if you're not paying attention. And then there's just. That I'm gonna. Over that little pile grab of safety. Get, get out of here. Yeah, you. There's just rubble there that the devs thought would block you, but no, no, no it doesn't. No, you, you can just jump and then just walk on it, and then end level trigger through that door. Yep, awesome. This run is not scuffed. This is exactly what runs of this game look like. Yep. Everything is great. Uh, we're still on. <laughs> we're still on underestimate pace. <laughs> That's all we need to know. Mm -hmm. Hell, I could have had uh, live split open on my end just to keep track of the splits, just to see how, you, oh, how you're that's doing. Not gonna kill him. Like, go grab like uh, I'm one of your last like splits that you uploaded to Splits IO, and just compare it to that, which is like an hour thirty eight or whatever it was, whatever it was on. Did I have an uploaded <laughs> Splits IO in ages? <laughs> Ooh, this is bad. I needed All that right, second uh, large shot. All right, now we get the next tank section, which is fun. Dude. It, it it actually kind of is, though. If you're not standing in the right spot, I've noticed that the the VTOL doesn't drop the tank for a bit until you move. So you can have to kind of sit here walking back and forth until it drops it. Yeah, he, he doesn't want to drop it on you. He doesn't want to drop it when you're too far away. Mm -hmm. That's a bit obnoxious. Also, that was an enemy. Just don't worry about him. Yeah, that. Boom. Don't worry about that him. That guy's called fine. the Widowmaker. They are very deadly if you're not paying attention or if you don't have the right weapons. But in the tank. Or if you're not in a tank. <laughs> you're virtually <laughs> immune to it in, if you're in the tank, though it's a little. I'm not sure how to say this. I guess a little. The projectile it launches oh. out of its mouth. Um, they do damage to the tank, but not a lot. Something I did notice hmm. in, um, I think it was on another 
80% run a while ago, is that if you let a Stalker walk on top of the tank, it will it will melt the tank's health. Like, you die very quickly. Yeah, the Stalkers have uh, super strong uh, armor penetrating legs, I guess, and <laughs> you just lose your yeah, tank I, I, if I that guess happens. the feet area probably feet. have, like, a damage barrier or something that like, have... The feet do damage, is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> also, the stalkers get free hits on you while you have to wait for the, yeah. the gates to open. Now, these are thankfully the last two enemies we have to take out um, in the tank run. Yeah, now I will say, a damageless run of this game, I would say is virtually impossible. Yeah, you're telling me. Now, a deathless run <laughs> is possible. Difficult, but possible. I wonder if anybody's ever exited the tank and then just ended up on the street below. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I have ended up underneath the tank and taken half my HP and damage. Huh. So, that's fun. Uh, you also see me using the weapon wheel. I haven't really talked about the weapon wheel. Basically, bringing the weapon wheel up causes the uh, whole game to freeze, so we really want to avoid doing that whenever necessary. <clears throat> but for the sake of the marathon, and because I have plenty... Did he not die? Oh, my no. God. And no, because we... That nice. couch just took off. That that couch was like, my people need me. <laughs> um, my people need me. Bye. <laughs> for, the, for the sake of the... Couch no. space mission. <laughs> Oh god, okay, I need to heal. Um, for the sake of the marathon, I'm going to be bringing the wheel up whenever I need it. Ooh. Uh, this is a... Crouch just... No, it wasn't okay! Oh, I, was just I thought crouch, I could save but, that. Uh... <laughs> no, oh, well, I think his ammo was you got check. It's too fine. close. <laughs> Why is this game treating me like this today, dude? This game does... I'm like telling you. <laughs> It no, it it doesn't. Something I I did something today. Oh, he's like over there. I didn't know that. That might be a new strat. Just bring out your auger and hit him through the wall to get his aggro sooner. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I've never thought about that. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, um, we literally died to the the last possible enemy we could have in this entire game. So you know that's awesome. Yep. Um, and now we're on to the reason. Or however it's uh, actually <laughs> Thames. Is it is it properly pronounced Thames? Yeah, okay, you don't know how I used to say it when I was younger. Is Thames. I used to say Thames, Thames because my dumb American brain. <laughs> Let's go, the River of Thames. All right, so brand new skip. We alluded to this earlier. This was literally discovered uh, less than twelve hours ago. Yes. This so how do you say so, his name? Ryan? Yeah, go on. Ryan? Uh I pronounced it Rian. Rian. Okay. Well, amazing skip discovered by him. It's I love it. It's amazing. So you run over here, grab the backlash nades because you kinda need them, turn around and go over to this corner and jump over this wall pretty much. But you have to clip and clip a little bit into a corner into this yeah, like the pillar and then jump over the wall. The way I do it is I first clip into the wall because that usually lets me get some slope momentum. Uh, I'm going to reset that. Now, there are enemies that are coming to attack me here that I have to worry about. But um, thankfully, this clip is pretty quick. Oh, it should be okay. There we go. Second try, we'll take that. For a brand new skip, we will take that. And then turn right down this little alleyway. Um, now, the stalker that, you, that just spawned in, I, I mean, if you... I think the Twitch does have audio. I don't, so I'm just listening. Yeah, yeah, they'll have audio. Gameplay, which is fine. I know what this game sounds like. I've played it enough. <laughs> um, that stalker can turn around and shoot you. It still can do that. Yep. Now, can it backtrack? I don't know. We would have to. No, as far as I know, it can't make it. We actually, both stalkers are just gone. Yep. So and cool. I think you do skip the but trigger I to spawn this last squat. Yeah, you do skip the trigger to Yep, you you just go to the end. That that's it. That it was like a two and a half minute level. Now it's like a minute and ten seconds. Yep. Now or for a normal playthrough, it's probably more like a ten minute level for most people on a normal playthrough. Which that's fine. I mean yep. that's that was the intent. It is a difficult level. 
Because you have two stalkers and a widowmaker to deal with. And then an absolute truckload of enemies to deal with. And then this now, is one of them. There's a Good. Th there's a new way to do this, but based on how this run has been treating me, um, I fully 175% expect it to just absolutely mark me. So I'm just going to do this the incredibly safe way mm -hmm. that I use used to do this because it, it's at this point like it's been fun, but I need to I need to clean this up because this is going to be really bad if I keep making significant mistakes like i have been <laughs> yeah now something i right. personally do is i take out the uh the hailstorm which is like that little chonky chain gun looking thing i use it secondary fire which yeah, sends out all the remaining rounds in the mag into the air as a small turret and it just dumps yep. it just dumps all the rounds into enemies that are in the area Personally, I throw a backlash nade down. I launch one of those turrets as you just did there, and then I just kind of let it do its thing because the ba the rounds do bounce off the walls, which are kind of nice. Yep, it, it it's definitely a nice weapon. It's a bit niche though in that it it oh come on, it doesn't have too many uses. I actually need to take these guys out because they will they'll chase me pretty hard if I ignore them. Yeah, and then you aggro hmm. the steel heads. You gotta. Have avoid their shots that's fine. which the steel heads aren't oh that my god look how much damage they did to me yeah, what, the, one hell? Melee what the heck while they're taking oh damage. that'll do it yeah yeah now here comes one of the first really easy skips which is just jump you have to just like jump at the right spot <laughs> just jump jump and yep, you go over here to one of these there. turrets which is just a little farther there you go and you do a bit of a slope jump okay take yep. out that guy take out that guy and you just keep walking now, there's a couple actual ways to get through this level. Um, like, this particular section has, like, three different skips to get through it if you wanted to do them. Mm -hmm. But the uh, the easiest one is the one I just did. There's another one that saves a little bit more time, but going for it is uh, a bit more cost-reward. Yeah. All right, now we're on to... Um... Yeah, this is the, the level with the Goliath fight. Yeah. Yes. That giant thing We're gonna thing eat over there. the tank just away. Summon a Lark. They want you to fight this... Um, Really, dude? They want you to fight this Stalker with the... Uh, with the Lark... Or with the, um, the Jeep. And Cartwright in it. But I assure you, that's a horrible idea. Yeah, honestly, it's very slow. It's a very slow fight. It takes like five minutes because Cartwright just <laughs> misses half his shots. Um, now, here comes one of the more unfair parts of the game because there are so many enemies and just, there's not a there's, a... there's some cover, but you're very exposed half the time. You're not, you're not the one in the cover, typically. Well, you want to take out those two steel heads because they will chase you out here. And their augers do a lot of damage to the stalker. And here comes this fight. Now, this fight can go pretty quick if you just hammer the ever-living crap out of the Goliath, which is that massive mech. That's what those are called. Uh, you just... All right. All right. He gave me good RNG. He backed up. Yep. Sometimes he'll just, just walk right on top of the other times. He, he'll do what he's doing now. Yep. And this stalker controls about as well as it looks. It's it's like uh, you have to hold the analog stick in order to stop its momentum so that it will uh, could start walking the other direction you can tap the x button to like jerk it like that but you that's liable to just send you flying uh well out of the way which is annoying because the missiles that are I'm, I'm firing i'm gonna avoid that hopefully nope the missiles that i'm firing are actually coming out of where you see them coming out which means that if it, the missile is too far to the right, oh, like, then right. it's just going to go to the right of the guy. Mm -hmm. And now, this is the meanest checkpoint in the game, especially on difficulties like Superhuman. 
you might think, oh, it's just a positional checkpoint. No, 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 no. This checkpoint requires you kill both of these optional stalkers. Yeah. In order to get it. Now, on two easy, more stalkers you can to argue. With, which are typically distracted easy, by all the other guys on the ground, but they can very easily yeah. kill you. On easy, you can make an argument to just completely ignore those stalkers, but it's complete RNG if the stalkers decide to give chase or if they just, uh, you know, go hang out in the other area and do whatever they want instead of chasing you. The big thing about stalkers is they're, just like I'm launching these missiles, they will also launch missiles at me. Mm -hmm. Their missiles do a lot of damage. And in this section... So I'm just going to sit here yeah. aiming. <laughs> Come on. All right, there we go. Yeah, That's sometimes it takes a minute. And now here comes oh, okay, the first dedicated... Well, actually, no. We have a, we had a Widow fight earlier in... Uh, excuse me, the, the first Thames level, or in Thames 1. No, we skipped it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we skipped it. <laughs> Not anymore. That's don't. right, you skipped it. Here's... With the new skip, here's the first actual Widowmaker fight. Which you just take... Yep. Now, Cartwright is going to yell at us for being too the, slow. Uh, yeah, you just murk the hell out of it. One shot Can you believe dead. Cartwright? Cartwright said we were too slow, guys. Yeah. Yeah, so for reference, with that, what I would say is subpar execution, I golded that split, because this is the first time I've done that on a run, by over over 40 seconds. Easy. So that new skip is absolutely yeah, massive. Yeah, you, you saved a ton. Lost some time earlier in the, in the run, but you gained that time back with that new skip. And now here comes where you get to see the angel for the first time, which like the, the like the highest like ranked chimera, and you get these supercharged uh, bullseye. I melee it for good measure. I give it a little kiss. Yep. Now that's like the One only more. damage that's really difficult to avoid. You can avoid taking damage from it, but you have to hit the trigger to spawn it and then immediately back up. And you can actually, That's so on, on this part, you can actually sit at the top of this little slope, toss a backlash at your feet, and just uh, take out some enemies with it. It does speed up a little yeah, bit, but we... it does require the use of a backlash. Yeah. So there is actually a skip that saves like 17 seconds that you can do here and skips doing this entire fight. But again, I think I've proven that uh, marathon luck is not on my side for this run. Yeah, and so I'm. You can very easily fall to your no. death because it requires jumping <laughs> out what of I a know. thing onto a ledge to just jump around that door. So this is our first angel boss fight. That was our first angel boss fight. Hope you all enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, uh, just got jibbed or gibbed, how, however you pronounce that. I say jibbed. <laughs> He got jib. Today is the English pronunciation stream. <laughs> yes. It's like the argument. Is it gif or jif? Uh, I, I mean, I really like the response to that of jif is a peanut butter. Yeah. So it's definitely. <laughs> and here's the last bit of uh, ammo for the flamethrower. And backlash. The there is a bit of ammo for it. There there is no more ammo in the entire game for either the backlash or the flamethrower. And by now you guys have probably seen he really likes using the flamethrower and the backlash. Oops. Now an argument that. for GIF versus GIF uh, wasn't a Russian badger video. If you watch Russian badger, um, <laughs> that it's, it's a acronym that's graphics interchange format. That's why it's GIF rather than GIF, which because it would be, graphics interchange format that was just a stupid graphics argument. yeah it was it was just like a joke argument for the the, the no, I, I i like that i personally i pronounce it uh gif so i like that argument i say it like i'm speaking spanish yif <laughs> oh no i started a whole thing in chat <laughs> Yeah, you you started resistance fall of man. Nah, this is now a GIF versus. <laughs> GIF versus the guy who came GIF up GIF. with the format said it's pronounced GIF. Yeah, except I don't. I saw a video from I uh, look a uh, YouTuber like he might have like, invented it. GIF versus GIF, and it's actually I think he's concluded that's actually properly pronounced GIF, like 
based Look, on like how might, the English language works. He might have invented it, but I assure you, as an expert in the field of being myself, he's wrong. <laughs> Even uh, Defense said he's wrong. <laughs> I don't know who uh, if he's referring to the original creator or. I think he is. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway. But, but yeah, anyway, enough talking about. Well, that the conversation rages is, uh, on. The English language is weird. Um, uh, yes. Yeah, well, the guy that the invented Tim's it uh, is wrong. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because how the English language works is that's not oh. how you say it. <laughs> because English is, <laughs> English is weird. So this is Meanwhile, the John second to last Square level. Is on. Sorry, like, uh, Panda Square. <laughs> we 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 have beaten the second to last level. Yep. This is it. Yep. We Final have stretch. Five minutes, according to my personal time. I don't know what stream says. Stream I'm says probably an hour twenty nine thirty. Oh god, there's seventeen seconds on stream. I forgot to count for. No. Yeah. <laughs> It's fine. Look, an estimate is about when you're going to finish. It's okay to be over and it's okay to be under, guys. Stop estimate shaming. Let people be <laughs> one minute over. Uh, now you gotta. Now you're gonna get the chat uh, <laughs> screaming at you. For, yeah. Now everyone's going gonna over. post the monkey s with the stopwatch emote. Uh, just like time, time. <laughs> the cope begins. Says Panda Squared. And here's the second uh, no Widowmaker joke. fight. Oh, yeah, that was the second Widowmaker fight. Yep. And now here's some unfairly placed Magical enemies because pop. you can get them with like a, a, a 40 millimeter grenade, but uh, you have to like really arc it through the door. You're probably going to hit yourself if you do that. Yeah. Okay. So this section is actually... Um, shockingly difficult to do well mm -hmm. because uh as you can see i'm walking on oh okay as you can see i'm walking on very uh narrow pipes here i need to do all of this shooting i'm doing while also making sure not to blindly walk off the pipe because i'm way too focused on making sure i kill the guy so i'm gonna do this a little bit safe here you know he didn't die. That's fine. He they you can surely hit they won't get right? closer. I can't. He, this is fine. The splitter is a really cool weapon, like, but it's it's doesn't have a whole lot of use. Here, I'll I'll show you the secondary fire. So this is uh what they intend you to do with it is fire it and then like split it up. But you actually significantly hurting its damage output by doing that. Mm -hmm. So you really want to just fire the splitter as a bulk chunk like I'm doing because that does the absolute most damage with it. All right, so if you'd like to explain what's about to happen here, yep. as you so can see, uh, a seven has a bogey hot on yeah, his six. VTOL pops up to say, hey, found this, you found him. Uh, and then they get jumped by an angel. They follow to their death. Angel comes over, gets murked by a rocket. Second angel pops up, gets murked by a rocket, and you're done. <laughs> <laughs> the same rocket, the same by the rocket, way. Yeah. That that is just how powerful the Lark secondary is. And then they nerfed One it in resistance. Lark too. missile. <laughs> yeah, they really did. And then the rocket launcher. One Lark rocket just Yeah, and the rocket launcher in the third Go game on. is cool. Fall of Man rocket's better. <laughs> All a man rocket is like it's, it is the goat. I, Dragon's OP, but like mm -mm. Fall, the lark in resistance. Fall and the last elevator ride. Huh. Yep. Uh, good morning. Yep. Last elevator. Ride. We're coming up to the final boss. We actually might be underestimate. Let's go. Yeah. The coping paid off. And so there's a new strand for the final scene. boss. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna watch it. So I want to go over estimate just by watching cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> Deliberately says no. I'm gonna go over estimate by watching cutscene. I'm sabotaging. Guys. You're sabotaging um, okay. the run. So, new strat. We have a ton of grenades. Corporal Asshat's gonna try to get in my way and body block my grenade. Really hope that doesn't happen. 
Um, what we're oh, oh my so goodness. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take advantage of where we are. And uh, Grump, if you'd like to explain what we're looking at right, All right now. Right. So, Insomniac forgot to add collision to the shields because with the with the flamethrower and the and the and the sapper which is a weapon he hasn't used at all because well it's honestly not really that good to be honest um what you're doing is you're shooting the reactor rods i think you're missing one i think you have to go to the right a little bit um but Are you serious yeah you're missing one whatever uh for insomnia forgot to add collision to the shields for two weapons this is the flamethrower and the sapper uh, so you can just straight up shoot through the shields because they forgot that. Yep. This is this is bulletproof and energy proof glass. It's not fireproof and it's not uh, it's not sapper proof. So you're supposed to go over there behind that and hit a switch and start this huge final boss encounter where a bunch of angels are spawning and chimeras are spawning and steelheads and hybrids and all of these enemies are spawning and they're trying to kill you and you're on a time limit. You're not actually on a timeline, but it makes you feel like it. But instead, now we're just going to bring out the dragon and we're just going to cheese this entire final boss and time is coming up now because that is hit number four. And you kind of just see that final backlash. Some enemies do spawn because of, as you're walking around doing this backtrack, if you do it the way it was Time. original, originally done, you would hit a trigger that would spawn in some enemies. But since you sat there, no enemies spawned in, and yeah. So I know I let shots fired. Uh, I didn't count the 17 seconds, but on splits, in case anyone's curious, that was a 134.58. So we're two minutes underestimate. Yep. Totally not coping. <laughs> totally not coping. Uh, but hey, not bad. GG. Yeah, thanks for joining me, Grump. Um, that was it was last minute, but uh, it was fun to hang out, uh, do this. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm Sarge, Sergeant Silent. You could see my name. You could follow me just about anywhere. Uh, what about you, Grump? You want to do any shout um, You can follow me on Twitch at, well, the exact same name. Um. You can also find me on YouTube under again the exact same name. Uh, I don't really upload that often. I have I've got so many videos I need to work on. Uh for way A for this game and some other stuff. But yeah. Yep. And uh if you're interested in speedrunning any of the resistance games, come hang out in the resistance community. We have a Discord link on um speedrun.com you can find everything and i'm gonna leave you with this message i've beat this game 18 times on this version of the game but when you beat it about five times you start getting this message yep great read um you player are the the the, the legends have foretold of you and uh i mean yeah i'm good to go i will uh see you all next time thank you so much for having me shots fired and uh i hope you all have a great rest of your marathon i hope the marathon goes well yep See you guys.